What's up, y'all? Welcome back to some more Construction Simulator. We are back here for episode three, and we have our biggest job to date. We are going to be erecting a full-blown commercial building here. So it looks like it's going to be a souvenir shop. So we've got three stages of construction today. We've got wall construction, ceiling construction, and then some more ceiling construction. We're going to be going through some, uh, you know, a nice little list of... of uh, materials here and then uh, I mean we're gonna be using some new items we've got a, a crane that we're gonna have to rent I think we're gonna be using a concrete pump which I don't even know what that is I don't know how that works but I'm, I'm excited we're gonna have to pass some you know inspections and things and it's gonna be a good time so our first objective is gonna be to rent a tractor we are here at our uh, you know main distributor got a DAF XF 530 FTM we can, we can rent this or potentially purchase it. To be honest, it wouldn't be a bad idea to purchase a tractor. We could even get a tractor with a crane. I feel like that's not a bad idea. I know one of our goals... I mean, this, this thing looks pretty good. The Mac... One of our goals is to own more equipment, but if we could get something that could, you know, scratch a couple of itches all at the same time, wouldn't be a bad idea. I think I'm going to get this Kenworth here. I mean, it's maybe not our best idea to invest all of our money into something we don't need but if we have a tractor that can pull things but it's also got a crane on there that we can use in the future that we might need i mean i think some of the trailers see there's a flatbed with a crane what do we currently own i don't even know what we own let's let's take a look at our inventory here so we've got a flatbed with a crane I don't know if we're going to need a tractor with a crane in that case. I mean, obviously, it all depends. With a tractor, we could have like a long flatbed with a bunch of pieces of equipment on it. But I feel like we're, you know, uh, splitting hairs here. I, I, I don't know if we necessarily need that right now. So maybe we just buy ourselves a tractor. Obviously, we're going to need a semi truck going forward. So I, I'm going to say I, I like max. This is 83K. We can sort by tractors. We can see all them. So we've got a Mac. We've got a DAF. A DAF, a Kenworth. I wish there was a way to compare these. I kind of want to get the best one possible. Why does this one cost less but cost more to rent, but this one costs more to buy and less to rent? I like this Kenworth. I'm going to buy the Kenworth. All right. $83,000 down the drain. Well, we got that now. We're also going to need a cargo trailer. So if we switch back to our class, we're going to look for cargo trailers. We've got different options, different lengths, different styles. I don't even know what we want here, dude. This is the most you know, expensive. Do we want the multi-trailer? Does that... Oh, that's not even a cargo trailer, though. We've got this with the walls or this with no walls. I'm going to buy the, the one with no walls. All right, let's go for it. Bam. Look at that. We got a couple of new pieces of equipment, a couple of new assets to add to the business, and uh, hopefully that's going to help us out with expanding. I think, didn't we have a, a, a challenge for that? Yeah, on the left right there, three construction machines. So we're, we're good to go now, baby. We are looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and enter this bad boy. We are going to go couple the, uh, the cargo trailer. Is that behind us? I believe. All right, this is all brand new equipment for us. Love to see this. We're connected. And we're gonna go pick up some uh, some materials for this new job. It hits different when you own it, baby. Let's uh, let's get to that, uh, the interior camera. Oh, look at this thing, the Kenworth. Dude, I, I used to love, I'm not, I'm not gonna get any tickets or anything here. We're gonna be on our, our best behavior. Look at our, our mirrors working and stuff i used to love semi trucks like as a kid i was so interested in these things i just i still think it's a fascinating profession you can make a lot of good money as a semi truck driver like you can clear six figures and more you work for yourself you're on the road all day long i mean it'd be a very tough job it'd be a very lonely job but there's some guys that like you know i don't know if your girl works from home or something she could work from the truck the trailer uh, maybe, maybe I should get Chels to be a, a semi-truck driver and then I can make some YouTube videos in the passenger seat. That'd be a good time. We could do some vlogs. That'd be pretty good. All right, I'm not about this traffic life, though, so we're we're going to skip past this. The problem is, is Chels is... I, I don't even want to say it. She's downstairs. She's cooking dinner. She can hear me right now, but she's... Whoa! Jackknife! Okay. 
I, okay, we're, we're going way too fast here. She's not a great driver. I totally deserve that though. Hold on. If I, if I go to reset, that should fix us up. All right, let's, let's take this a bit. I'm, I'm going to get inside, you know, anytime I'm in a, like a first person view, I take things a lot more seriously. So we're going to stay inside here, but yeah, she's not the best driver. I actually like, I mean, she doesn't even like driving. I, I really like driving. I think being a semi truck driver would be fun at times, but then I think I get really bored of it very quickly. So at least we got to live our dreams here in construction simulator. The downhills are what get you, baby. Let's just slow this thing down. Make sure we don't rear end anybody. I can't believe we didn't get any tickets or anything. Now the thing is, is you do have to upkeep your equipment. So I'm imagining we've probably got some uh, damage on the the right side. So might have to take that and get it looked at at some point. But um, we're just gonna fall in line of traffic here. Just kidding. I don't do traffic. 2400 meters dude i mean technically we could fast travel but i'm trying to save some money we just blew over a hundred grand on this tractor trailer combo so let's try to keep this under wraps american truck simulator is a game or euro truck sim there's you know a couple of them i, I really wanted to play that this is kind of wetting our whistle a little bit at some point maybe maybe next summer i kind of like like the summertime and, and not even summer like kind of before summer sometimes I like when everything slows down and we start playing some weird random stuff, although this is a pretty weird random game right now. The next couple months are going to be crazy, but uh, I definitely imagine American Truck Sim on the simulator and just sitting there and riding around and it'd be pretty cool. We're splitting the gap. We're splitting the gap, baby. I'm going for it. Ooh. Oh, well, I think we just got fine for, uh, you know, running through a red light. That's okay, though. Hello, red light. All right forgot about that dude i kind of appreciate the fact that you really have to take it seriously like this this is no joke you can't speed you can't run into people you can't run stoplights and stuff like we just got fine back there it's eating away at our profits it's a long light too customer's not gonna be happy live my life a quarter mile at a time baby can't stop me all right so we're almost there we're getting close this is kind of like not necessarily a highway but it's it's long straight not a ton of traffic, so we're making up a bit of time. Got to be careful about cutting these corners short. Sometimes you just got to commit and go for it. That's a red light. Oh my goodness, dude, the lights. If I go like off road a little bit around the trees, do you think I could skip the red lights? Uh, maybe we just take our time and appreciate it too. That, that works as well. Can I ride on red? Does right on red work? Can I, I, I can't, I don't think I can like look. Can I look to the left? I don't see anything to the left. I'm gonna, nope, not allowed to ride on red. I wasn't sure if semis could do that anyway. I feel like maybe not the best idea, especially with something this big. So we'll, we'll take another ticket. That's not the sixth one we've had on the way here. And uh, we're almost there. Will you get a ticket for blowing a stop sign? I'm really pushing the limits here. He won't run into me, will he? Nope. I got a little bit nervous there. I thought he might just send it. All right, here we go. So we're at the prefab wall factory. This is a prefabricated wall factory. Probably your second home in the future, at least if you want to specialize in house building. Thanks, hey. We're going to pull in here. This is our loading zone right next to the docks. Get her nice and lined up. Okay. Enter the factory and buy the prefab walls. I really appreciate that there's like you can't just pull the truck up and, and, you know, a menu pops up. You got to get out. You got to go talk to them. You got to go walk in the building and stuff. All right. Here you're going to get suitable prefab elements for your active construction contract. If you have accepted several jobs in parallel, be sure the job for which you want to pick up prefab elements is marked as your active one. You're going to be loaded directly onto your vehicle. Therefore, park a suitable trailer in the designated delivery zone beforehand. So this, this is going to be our thing. 4,500 with the package oh oh hold on we gotta load the package as well and i think we're good to go that's done the way back stop by the build material dealer and get the rest of the building materials so this is our prefab package here look at that comes in a nice tightly wrapped little bow like a little you know kid on christmas type of deal so now we got to go get our other materials i believe we've got some bricks and pipes and things and we're gonna go to our uh dealers to be able to get those my goodness this is a little bit nerve-wracking but as long as we keep her in between the lines just remember your turns got to be wide you 
lose every inch of space you got, we're gonna be okay. That's gotta be cool as somebody in this industry to drive by things that you're like, yeah, I built that. The motel off to our left right there. We had a hand in that. Made that look good, did our thing. So we made it to our commercial building supply dealer. Go ahead and bang a left in here. Not gonna wait for anybody else. There wasn't a specific place we were supposed to park in here, right? I'm pretty sure. I think they charge you extra to be able to load it onto your truck, but that's fine. We don't have any cranes or anything, so that's the only option we've got. So we're gonna need, uh, we need two of these, one, two, and then we need some rebar. Ah, we can deliver to the yard. No deliver, how do we do auto loading? Shoot, are we in the wrong spot? I think we might be in the wrong spot forget hold on now hold on hold on not not that quick not that quick if we put this here whoop, 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 whoop. that's definitely our loading spot hold on don't want to jackknife this thing oh oh okay yep some Sem semi trailers are not easy did i have a hard time backing up my boat how do you expect me to be able to do this i don't like that i can't control the camera on my own it makes me it, it waits until you start backing up. All right, here we go. It's the opposite of what you think. If you want the trailer to go to the right, you got to steer the truck to the left. Well, I got that wrong. Oh no, when it's in the mirror, you know, you put your hand on the bottom of the steering wheel. And this is a, a life tip for you guys. Put your hand on the bottom of the steering wheel. And if you want it to go right, go to the right. So technically you take the wheel to the left, but it's not working here. So like, I want this trailer to go, if I was behind it, I would want it to go to the left. So I'd put my, my hand on the bottom and I'd turn to the right. Ah, there it is. Okay, so it is working. I just had it backwards because I'm not in the truck. But yeah, put your hand on the bottom of the steering wheel and then just turn the wheel in the direction that you want it to go, right or left. That that helped me with trailers. Life Pro Tips with Tmar. We started with COD tips, now we got life tips. Crazy how life changes. Auto loading, purchase. All right, there we go. We're going to go back to the construction site or to it in the first place. We haven't seen it yet. Pulling up to the construction site here. So this, I mean, this is crazy. We are pulling up to an empty lot and we are going to turn this into a full on. Oh, we're going to need a crane. Oh, we can, we can rent the crane though. So we could take, we could use the crane to take the stuff off the back of our trailer. We aren't going to need our, our flatbed or anything like that. Although if we had a truck with a crane on it, honestly, I don't think that would have been a bad investment. We saved a little bit of money now to probably have to spend more in the future, but that's okay. So here we go. Crane area. We're going to uh, go to our vehicle dealer. We're going to rent a crane. Are any of these a fast directing crane, a tower crane? or another fast directing. This is the cheapest one. 1900 for 24 hours. Count me in. Let's rent this bad boy. I hope that's good enough. Operation was confirmed. How do we set it up though? We have to do anything. Oh, set up right here. Crane area is blocked cuz I'm in it. Okay. So let me step step out a little bit. Set up. Bam, look at that. Okay. So it's not like a really fancy one, but hey, this this is our our first job. So we're we're gonna be able to oh, oh, oh this is sick. Okay. Trying to get our controls back down. Here we go. So we're gonna go pick up this is our rebar to start things off. Bring our hook down. Attach that, bring it up. And that's gonna be going over in this corner over here. Okay, yep. That's a whole lot of movement. But we're gonna be fine. There it is, rebar is down. All right, now we're gonna come back over here. Let's not hit the truck or anything. I'm gonna grab our uh, building materials. Ah, that's two of them. Okay, not gonna be able to get them both at the same time. We're fine. Dude, It. the controls in this game are actually really hard. Like it, it, it's surprisingly difficult, but I love it for that reason. Like you actually, ooh, be careful. Let it, let it move out there. You actually have to pay attention to what you're doing. And it feels like you're actually, you know, I mean, it's not an exact science, but it makes you feel like you're doing, doing the thing. Grab this other piece, lift it up. Always lift up and then go out if you have to. Okay, all right, bring it back, bring it to the left. Bring it back. You're always working on this 3D plane, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. Here we go a little bit to the right. We're good. 
Place the transport frame in the marked area. Okay, so we're gonna wanna bring this out this way. Get this guy, lift him up. All the way up, up, up. This is gonna be a big, heavy piece. Bring it back to the left, back to the left. And that should be a good spot. The cool thing is B, if you do B, you can move it. Spin it like a little, little top here and drop it down. And that should be a good spot. All right, our walls are down. Press Y, release the prefab walls. Yeah, we're, we're good to go, okay. So we're gonna unlock our transport frame. It's gonna make sure we can get each individual piece. This was, you know, cut us some scaffolding looking pieces or whatever the heck you wanna call it. And now we're gonna be able to come in here and we're gonna be able to get individual pieces to be able to place down on our projects. So if we bring this this way, this is a window piece. So I think this, I think this one's gonna go on that backside back there. Okay. You're not gonna be able to put any piece where you want it to go. You're gonna have to actually choose the pieces that make sense in their slots. Get this lined up. Bam, there it is. Dude, the level of realism here. So this is a door and a window. We're gonna wanna twist this bad boy. We're gonna be able to put this on this first front side. There it is. Just like that. All right. I like that you don't have to, you know, get it exactly in the right spot. You just gotta get it close. It's it's not too crazy. There's gonna be another door and a window piece, which is gonna go on this far right side towards the street. Twist it. Should we get it out that way? Start dropping it. All right, there she is. And the last piece is gonna go back towards the woods. Pull this up out of here. I mean, nothing some prefab walls can't fix, baby. This is easy. Sometimes watching where that little icon goes, I mean, naturally, it, to be expected, it makes it a lot easier. Hold on. Get it lower. There it is. Okay. Reset the crane back over here. Make sure it's not in the way. So now we need to work on the ceiling element concrete. Oh, is that here? Okay. I didn't know those were already poured. I know we have that concrete uh, pump that we're going to have to figure out. I'm not sure what the plan is for that, but looks like we're staying with the crane for now. So we're going to put this guy right there. <laughs> I love how you have to worry about the stupid momentum, dude. This, this game is crazy. Look at your little cursor, where the cursor's going. It will follow. So we drop this here. Oh my goodness, dude. This is gonna take so long. We're fine. Keep keep it on a, a plain line. Here we go. Lift up a little bit. All right, so if you, if you lift up first, then you're gonna have to go out. And then you're gonna have to go to the left. You'll swing it on around. Out a little bit more. Out a little bit more. There it is. Drop it. There it is. Okay. Bring it back around. You got to come that way. Then you got to come in. You got to go down. Pick that one up. Lift it up. You're going to have to go out. You're going to have to go to the left. All right. You're going to have to go down. And there it is. Starting to get the hang of it. Dude, it's... You're all working on the, the little D-pads here. It's it's not easy. Or not D-pads, the little, little, you know, sticks, obviously. But it's just when you're changing your perspective, it makes it a lot more difficult than you would expect. Okay. Ceiling elements are in. Crane can be dismantled again. This works in exactly the same way as setting up. So we're going to get out. If we get out of the way, go into our crane area, dismantle it. Okay. Now we got to get a, uh, a concrete mixer. So our brand new $100,000 rig here is no longer needed. We're going to go into our vehicle fleet. And I believe we can, uh, if we just store store this guy and s store him, is that is that going to get rid of him? Yep, they're not behind us anymore. I mean, at least that's convenient. We don't have to drive that back to the, the lot or anything like that. Now we're going to want to go rent vehicle dealer. I mean, we can enter it from a distance. We're going to need a, uh, what is it? A, a trans rent a concrete mixer. So these are our options here. Ooh, 
put $118,000. Trev, don't do it. You aren't going to be able to really afford. Oh, but we, we can't. They're, they're all out of our price range. So I'm going to say whatever the cheapest thing is, they're all the exact same. What do we like the look of? I kind of like the cat, dude. I, I, I like the yellow. So we're going to rent this. Super, just the right thing. Now we need concrete. Remember the gravel plant. There's concrete there too. Right by the entrance is the concrete silo. So we need to go get in the mixer. Is there anything, there's a building material. See, if there's a, like a concrete plant near us, I know the gravel plant, but I want something near us so that we don't have to drive that far. I don't think we have an option. We can go straight to our mixer, just hop straight into that. That's not gonna cost us any fast travel. I'm gonna say let's drive to the gravel plant and then fast travel back to the build site. I'm gonna be honest, I might start just fast traveling everywhere. I, I'm not even sure how much money it makes. I should probably check that out before we commit to something like that, but fast traveling would, would definitely take a lot of time off of our day here. Traffic's not easy out here in the, you know, Old West. So here we go. We're gonna pull in here. Let me, uh, why did the refilling process back to the exterior? There it is. Let me extract real quick. Get 100%. Fill her up. I'm ready to take a big load. All right. Let's go. So, yeah, 1,400. Let's let's fast travel back to our job site. Let's see. How much money do we have? 106,558. 106,366. That is a trade-off I am willing to do. For this task, we need a concrete pump. You know by now where to get these construction machines. Dude, concrete pumps are expensive. My goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna go... I like this with the orange. We're, we're gonna go ahead and rent this bad boy. Back at the dealer here. I mean, we're very close to the job site, so we may as well drive this. Plus, I just kind of want to check it out a little bit. What in the world is this thing? What is it concrete? Is this like a crane for concrete? Like, does this come up, take concrete out of the... Ooh, there's our dozer from the last job. Does it take concrete out of our concrete mixer and then like push it onto the roof and stuff? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Is there anybody behind us? I hope not. No, nope, we're good. Okay. Sorry for blocking traffic. Go ahead. Go ahead. I wish I could move my camera around. You're not really allowed to, to move the camera unless you're driving in that direction. We're just going to have to send it. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay, we're good. Now, this is totally new to me. Look at our... We, dude, we've got dual axle turning up front. What is this? I've never seen a truck like this in my life. Never in my life have I, how have I not seen this before? This is a real thing. It's got to be a real thing. People actually use these? We're about to find out. Okay. Oh, man, this is concrete the ceiling. Okay. <sighs> Switch to function low. We are going to go for the hopper open and close. Oh, wait, we got to switch to function mode first. Sorry about your car. Nope, didn't work. It hit the car. Okay, I, I didn't know we were gonna we were gonna put down some giant uh you know well I don't even we gotta we gotta find ourselves directly in the middle here. How do you know where your giant anchors are gonna go? I don't wanna hit my own concrete truck. We're good to go. Okay. Here we go. What? Here at Erection Inc. we like to make it tall and tight, baby. I'm not even sh Oh, oh, okay. We can open this up. Bro, what is happening? What in the bumblebee am I doing right now? This Transformers... Am I gonna stick this in the... The... In <laughs> Bro, what? Enter the concrete mixer, it says. All right, as long as I, I've, you know, got permission here. Consent is the most important, you know, one of the... the center pieces the corner pieces of uh of a relationship um i don't know how to enter the mixer what am i doing i i'm i'm completely lost am i supposed to stick it in here okay we raise the boom we've got bro what look at the length of the arm on this the concrete pump must be permanently filled by a concrete mixer in order to be able to pour. Open the context menu. Okay, so we... The back of the truck. Oh, our little nozzle we've been using is the spout. We need to put the back of the truck up to it and it sucks it out of that. <laughs> okay, well, 
everyone's first time is a little bit awkward. So let's reset this. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna go back to drive mode. We gotta we gotta turn both of these machines around. All right, we got this thing turned around. We're gonna go to our mixer. I apologize. I, like I mean, this is like our third day on the job. So come on now, we we weren't expected to really know that, have we? I've legitimately never seen a concrete pump in my life. Uh, I, I want to see one now. Like, this is actually pretty cool. You know how they have, like, air shows? They should have construction equipment shows. I'd be super into that. So if I back this thing up, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Uh, approach the back of the concrete pump with a filled concrete mixer. Start the concrete flow via the context menu. The lid of the concrete pump must remain open during the filling process. Is there, like, a... I know we can go into camera mode, and we can go into into photo mode. But like, how, how do you know, how do you know how close to get? Or do we, do we set this thing up and then back the mixer up into it? We're going to try that. So I'm, I'm going to set this up. We're going to get this thing locked in. We're going to hop out. We're going to go to our concrete mixer. We're going to back that up into it. I can see the little bucket it's supposed to go into. I just, I don't, I don't know how to connect these two. I might be thinking about this too hard. I mean, we're, we're like right on on top of it okay dude the engineering behind all this is truly mind-blowing to me so if we go into well let's just let's just lift this thing up and then we should be able to go into the pouring mode and i, I think it might automatically hook us up with what we need but who knows so i'm gonna get this thing set up we're gonna get this arm out move it out over our ceiling oh my goodness dude Look. Woo. Okay. We're going to be careful here. That's that's good. So now if we go into to pouring on and off. Construction machine is empty. Open the hopper. That's it. Okay. I saw that earlier. So now. Ah. I know exactly what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to go into. Sh shoot on and off. Can I put this into the hopper? If we. If we back back this up, uh, okay, pouring on. Now enter the concrete pump, start the pouring process via the menu, okay. So we don't have to be too exact, but we just gotta be close. So we're pouring out of the mixer into the pump now, and then we're gonna be able to get in the pump. We're gonna lift this up, and we're gonna be able to start the pouring. Wow. Dude, that's cool. So we're gonna be able to go this way, Oh my goodness, dude, this is, this is insane. Okay, little, little harder control, but we're fine. Let's get our pouring back going again. To adjust, it's tough, because you got to go down, but then you also got to go up with the other arm. You got to go down and still stay going up, so we can, we can pause the pouring. Here we go, this is, this is good. It, the multi-directional arms are the hardest part of this game. So we got that, now we're going to be able to go over to the right. Now, if we go up like this, should be able to keep it going. 83%, go out a little bit. I feel like salt bay, but I'm I'm concrete bay, baby. Got some more in here. 98%, 99%, there it is. All right. Good job, now we just have to clear the construction site. Remember to return all rented construction machines. This will save any unnecessary Costs. All right, so if we reset that, then I'm gonna say, I mean, I, I think, well, we gotta, we gotta go back to the drive mode, get our anchors up, should be good. Now we're gonna be able to talk to Hate, see what he's got going on. Uh, oh, we need, we, oh, we're good. Commercial building job has been completed. Gotta love it, man. That was, that was pretty cool. Okay, so now. We want to send these things back. Is there like an, an easy... I mean, I guess we could probably fast travel back, but I'm just going to move them off the site, and we should be good to call that a day. I think as soon as you leave the site, you're good to go. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. We just built a, uh, a construction building from the ground up, used some new uh, pieces of equipment that I have never seen before in my life. That was... Not easy, but it was a lot of fun, and uh, I'm going to see you guys. Ooh, the L1 tower crane would be a good addition to your fleet if you decide to buy something. 
we'll consider that. We're gonna make some more money first. We got 126,000 credits. So I'm gonna see you guys in our next episode. Drop a like if you guys enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you guys want to see some more from this lemon L, uh, dude. This and NBA are like polar opposites, but I'm having way too much fun with both of them. So I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.